been strong supporters of the summit since the, the outset. We think it's a wonderful forum to bring together community leaders from all different sectors to uh, continue and expand a conversation about how the two municipalities can work together. Huge kudos to uh, the, the two chambers of commerce. This simply wouldn't be happening without them. Again, they're the ones who have brought uh, uh, the conversation about the two communities working together to a much, much bigger audience. The real takeaway was uh, who attended and, uh, and stayed throughout the entire day. And it was not just institutional representation there, uh, including government, but uh, of course there was a lot of private sector uh, uh, presence. And uh, from the, an economic development standpoint, and uh, certainly in terms of uh, real estate development, commercial development, uh, industrial development, and uh, uh, a lot of the people that you would hope would be there were there, and, and as I say, stayed. So I think that's a telltale sign that uh, this is an important event and is working for people. I've heard over and over from people uh, that uh, this seems just intuitive. They've been waiting for an opportunity to have this conversation uh, and the forum was a way to do that. And it was, there was so much enthusiasm and so much excitement at last year's forum. I think one of the takeaways for me is uh, the time is right to go down this road and talk about uh, uh, how the municipalities work together. Uh, we're one economy and uh, you know the, the vision is, is that uh, you know, we're better together. Uh, you know, our two communities, uh, you know, have to be thinking of a, a cohesive strategy to uh, attract investment and, uh, you know, and, and the more that we can work together uh, and attract that investment and create the certainty that people are looking for uh, if they're going to invest their money uh, in this, uh, this part of the, uh, of the region and uh, they want to know that, that uh, we're going to get things done in a fairly short order. Uh, we're over 700,000 people now. We will quickly be a million people. We're a deeply, deeply integrated economy. 20 plus thousand people a day cross the border from Hamilton to work in Burlington. We wrap around the same bay. We use all the same transportation networks. We've got a deeply integrated labor force. Look at our growth. Look at our jobs. Uh, look at the diversity of our economy. Um, you know, look at, uh, you know, the population employment projections for this part of uh, Southern Ontario. Are we meeting them? Maybe we might exceed them. We have great institutions, learning institutions, healthcare institutions, you know, great variety in jobs. Hamilton, as you know, is one of the most diverse economies in the country. Um, and so, and Burlington certainly has done great things in terms of its livability and, and certainly Hamilton is following in that direction as well. Our local jobs and prosperity are very much going to be a function of uh, how we plan the growth of the west end of Lake Ontario together. Uh, we're a completely inseparable integrated economy. Uh, our housing market is complementary. Uh, we uh, support each other with different types of housing. We're both growing in very different ways. Uh, and I, I have to think that one of the important outcomes for us is beginning to understand of how working together becomes a multiplier. Uh, everybody knows that it is that if we work together rather than work in complete isolation, uh, we're going to have much greater uh, economic growth opportunities. Um, but I think one of the things we've got to do is, is figure out how we measure that. How do you tease out the, the effect that we're having by working together rather than the effect we're having working separately? We can begin to talk to other levels of government as a single voice. Uh, and I think we will be infinitely more powerful talking to the province and the federal government as Burlington and Hamilton talking arm in arm from the same, on the same issues the same way and advocating together than effectively competing with each other for the attention and interest of other levels of government. One of the things that I would strongly suggest is that we continue to look at summits. Um, this year's I know is going to be a great success. Continue to do sort of analysis after the fact to see what worked and what different. Perhaps we need a different structure in future years. Maybe, maybe we need more events and smaller events to continue the conversation and continue the planning in a different way. But I've not seen a precedent quite like this, uh, where two chambers of adjacent municipalities set out very deliberately and, and, and very carefully to bring the right people together to plot a path forward. Uh, I think we're doing something really unique here at the west end of the lake.